So this is the register field of the mode reg rm byte. So once again, this is kind of um, convoluted name for one byte. Uh, mode stands for mode, reg stands for register, and rm st stands for register or memory. This is a technical name for this byte. So once again, this field right here corresponds to these values and uh, uh, basically uh, you see that uh, uh, we can uh, it, these these encodings uh, specify a register of 8 bit size of 16 bit size or 32 bit size depending on other settings now also um, when we um, uh, used uh, this example of the add instruction in these three uh, places uh, so we observed that um, if i uh, start uh, running it again for the sake of demonstration so i press f5 to run and then i will uh, switch again to the disassembly view okay so <clears throat> so right here um, uh, these are the three add instructions and these are the actual code bytes uh, and the, these are opcodes so the, this this and this these are the opcodes and if uh, instruction contains this byte uh, like this one right here add c l a l uh, so this is the the actual uh, uh, mode rage rm byte in this uh, instruction so if the direction is set to zero, uh, register is the source. Okay. So if if our opcode, um, if the opcode indicates the direction zero, then the the reg field specifies the source of data. If uh, like over here we have the direction bit of the opcode uh, set to one, this portion of the uh, of this byte indicates the the destination uh, of the of the instruction operand okay so this is uh, how it works and uh, we can definitely uh, take a look at this instruction and see what what this byte really contains when we uh, when we uh, examine uh, the actual values so uh, this mode reg rm values uh, for a second, I'll move move it here and show you that what the next uh, table indicates, what this next slide indicates, is that um, to be able to interpret RM uh, field, register or memory addressing mode, we have to combine it with uh, with the first two bits. So in, in, in reality, we combine these together okay so we combine these fields and these fields together all together five bits and uh, then on the next table we have this combination mode and rm addressing modes so they specify the uh, most of it you can see is using square brackets which is indicating here uh, that um, the operand is in memory and when the operand is in memory right so this is uh, some sort of memory right here okay so when we have this memory and each memory has unique address of course whenever something appears to be inside the square bra brackets it indicates for instance that this register is uh, pointing to some uh, some valid uh, um, uh, location in memory it contains memory address so this memory address can be modified by adding a displacement. The displacement can be 8-bit or 32-bit. You can see it down here uh, in, with combinations of different registers. Uh, so when we add something to this address, like in this uh, second example, for instance, uh, then um, uh, the original address is modified and this can be po positive or negative so obviously there will be an adjustments to either here with negative if this is the lower memory addresses or to a in the positive direction we can adjust uh, this uh, specific address by simply adding a constant number to it uh, so let us uh, examine the 
uh, examine what we have here in um, in the example of adding two 8-bit registers CL and AL. So let's find out what this uh, register C8, um, uh, sorry, not register, but what this byte um, mode RM byte in this example indicates. So we can take C8 um, and we can go to our um, uh, calculator, switch to byte, uh, switch to hexadecimal and simply copy and paste C8, control V. Uh, so this is um, a binary value uh, over here is 1100 and 1000. Okay, so let's uh, uh, write this up. I can uh, try to uh, keep everything uh, in view uh, like this. Right, so I have enough space on my screen to keep everything in view, possibly even here. Okay, and uh, so let's write this up, that we have uh, basically two bits, two, um, uh, uh, two mode bits in this C8. Uh, these two bits are set to 1-1. One, one. Okay, so like this, 1-1, one, 1-1, one, uh, one, one, and so forth. Uh, the last three bits... Uh, are set to zero, 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 zero. So we have to locate a combination of one, one and zero, zero, zero. So this combination is actually right here. So this is our combination, uh, one, one, zero, zero, zero. So this indicates that this instruction, this, this instruction that we're discussing at these two 8-bit registers, CL and AL, it tells us that one of the operands is register AL. Okay, so this basically tells us uh, it's the register that, that you're using. We know that this, in, this is an 8-bit addition, so obviously this, this identifies register AL being one of the operands. Now, the, um, the, mi the middle part here is 001. Okay, so 001, if you take a look at the reg field over here, so this, this part right here, 001, okay, so this 001, whereas the reg field is set, okay, so the reg field, which is right in the middle between these two, right here in the middle between these two, there is a reg field, and this reg field is set to uh, 001. Okay, so this is the value. And this 001 indicates register CL. Okay, so if, uh, if we switch back to the previous slide where we had the register field right here, this 001 indicates register CL. So we know that the operation code 0 indicates addition. And we also know that we have register CL and AL. And then um, the direction is set to 1. This indicates that the register field specifies the destination, right? So the, uh, the, uh, the, the direction field is uh, uh, part of this uh, zero, zero 002 hexadecimal. Of course, it's like 0, 0, 0, 0, all zeros, and then 1, 0. So this direction bit is set, and it indicates that the direction is the register uh, re, uh, reg field okay so this reg field is the destination and so the direction of it is like this and reg indicates register cl and mode combined with rm uh, indicates register al okay so this way we understand that the, the 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 operation here is to add them together okay and assign the result to uh, CL. So CL gets the uh, the sum of these two 8-bit values. So this is sort of like demonstration of this mode reg RM byte. And uh, in summary, once again, in this example, 02 is the opcode, operation code, and C8 is this mode reg RM byte. Uh, it may not be obvious uh, to you why uh, how, or how do I know that C8 is this byte? Maybe it's something else. We've seen some really complex combinations of all sorts of um, um, uh, other 
uh, components that could be present in the instruction. But for now, uh, but the, the quick answer is that actually this opcode, if we look up this documentation, which we will do uh, pretty soon, this opcode documentation will indicate that with this opcode, this byte is a mode RM byte. So everything can be actually found in, in, in official Intel documentation, which we will uh, try to uh, practice with in our future laboratory exercise. But uh, for now, we're just trying to explore various um, bits and bytes um, in these uh, opcodes right here and try to essentially reverse engineer their structure and take a look at what they actually contain, what kind of information is encoded in all of these bytes.